to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing from the red corner, all the way from the United States of America, the Southpaw Iron Man, Jason. Seven kilos. You happy with your weight coming into this bout? Very happy. Very happy. Uh, you guys fed me very well. A few extra pounds than normal, but it's okay. What has your week been like? You've come from the snow of Pennsylvania and now in the summer, the sun of Samoa. Has it been a cultural shock or has it been a great, great week for you? Uh, it's been an awesome week. Uh, everyone in Samoa has been uh, beautiful. Uh, the place is beautiful. Everyone's been so uh, nice. I appreciate it for the welcome, everyone. It's been uh, beautiful here. So what are you going to say to all the Americans when you go back to the States, win, lose, or draw about Samoa and the perfect that you could visit here for a holiday? Absolutely, I was, uh, was going to say, I'll definitely be back for a uh, vacation. It's beautiful here, Absolutely. On to business tomorrow night. You know the support that Joseph Parker has here. You're the man here to spoil the party. You're the, you're the bad guy. Are you going to disappoint a lot of people tomorrow night and uh, put a real spoke in Joseph Parker's road to the title? I'm going to do my best, so uh, I'm very confident. My team's confident. Uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. I think I'm going to surprise a lot of people. You said to me earlier this week you are one of the biggest secrets in boxing. This is your opportunity to shine in front of a worldwide audience, but against a guy who's ranked legitimately as one of the top fighters, a potential heavyweight champion in the next year and a half or so. Um, if you were to win, that would mean you would take his rankings. Uh, yes, that's uh, my plan. Uh, Joseph Parker's a great fighter. I think of myself as a great fighter. I think of myself as a prospect, just so is he. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a championship fight, world class fight. You won 16 of your last 18 fights. You also are the 11th best southpaw in the world. And if anyone watched uh, the southpaw fights over the weekend, Deontay Wilder and Chuck Martin proved that Southpaws are very, very awkward customers, even for world champion fighters. Uh, yes, we definitely have advantage uh, over the orthodox fighter. Uh, I'm going to do what I can to expose that, and hopefully it goes my way. Just finally, Joseph has talked this week about getting a liver punch. He has uh, that in his arsenal now. Uh, to give you people an idea, a Southpaw, when you go in your stance, your liver is right there. This is something, not nothing new to you, but the fact that he's been practicing this for you. Are you watching for it? Uh, you gotta watch for everything. Uh, I hope, I hope the, you know, best luck to him on uh, whatever they're working on, and we're gonna do what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Bergman. Weighing in at 116.7 kilograms. Of course, uh, Jason also visited some of our tourism sites throughout the country, at Lalumanu, Piula, um, Sea Breeze, Tosua, and also at uh, Anga Resort. Compliments of Samoa Tourism Authority. So big hand for the Iron Man himself. His opponent, all the way from Samoa. Put your hands together for Lupe Soliari, Loli, Joseph Parker. And Joseph Parker weighs in at 108.9. Uh, Jason Bergman was 106.7, 116.7.
for the heavyweight. Joseph Parker, 108 kilos. You're keeping that weight absolutely constant the whole time. So it shows that over Christmas you've been training the house down and you're ready for tomorrow night. Yeah, hello. First of all, thank God for this day. Thank you to everyone for coming here and supporting this. It's great to be here in a beautiful Samoa. And the training camp has been awesome, you know. I'm learning every training camp. I'm feeling great. Kevin's been teaching me new skills and techniques to approach uh, Jason, what he's going to bring. So we're all prepared, and you know, going in tomorrow night, we're ready for action. You said you want to put an exclamation mark on the week, but the fact is, you have so much support and you're in your quiet times. Do you sit there and feel that pressure, or is it you're just enjoying the pressure to perform tomorrow? I'm just enjoying being here. You know, this is my home. And um, I come here every year for LA, but this is, um, you know, I'm here for business. I'm here to take care of business. I'm focused. Um, there's no pressure. You know, we train hard, so we know we're relaxed. Could you just give uh, everyone here an idea of how great that parade was for you and the way in for you? Something we've never experienced before in any of our fights. Uh, the parade was uh, amazing. Mahaya Kiliaka Parade. Thank you very much. Just finally, after, after the fight, uh, what do you plan to do after the fight? And I'm talking about months ahead because this will be a break, this will be a break for you after this fight. Um, yeah, I'm going to take five hours to go to and then I'm going to take five hours to go to Kingo, and then I'm going to take five and then I'm going to take five hours to go to Vegas, and then I'm going to take five hours to go to Vegas. I'm going to take a break, three weeks break, and then I'm going to head back into camp, uh, in, uh, I mean in February, and because we're going to prepare for a fight in April, so um, we've, got a, we've got big plans for the year, and I just want to say thank you all for the great support for being here. And uh, come tomorrow, come. it's going to be a great night with uh, all the undercard fights, and also me and uh, Jason and, and Butter being in his opponent. So I uh, look forward to seeing you all there. Kevin Barry, this is a Southpaw opponent for the first time. You've brought a Southpaw opponent here, and over the weekend we saw Charles Martin win the IBF title. This is a calculated move from Duco and yourself to get Joseph ready for self or if he can get past Jason Bergman, potentially down the track he could be facing maybe Charles Martin for a world title. This such is an important fight. The eyes of the world will be watching this. There's a lot of really good southpaws at the top of the heavyweight division at the moment and, and Jason Bergman, he's the 11th ranked southpaw in the world and being Joseph's first southpaw opponent, you know, he brings uh, a lot of challenges to us in this fight tomorrow. Uh, Joseph's prepared very, very well, but the southpaw style does take a bit of getting used to and it's something that we've worked very hard on. When we made this fight in Samoa, we wanted to make it different than all Joe's other fights. And the fact that we've brought the southpaw uh, here to Samoa for Rumble in the Jungle, or Rumble in Paradise, sorry, um, that was how we made it different. We want it. Well, it might be like the Rumble in the Jungle. Uh, also, look, I'd just like to add this morning, what the, the young men that walked Joseph in, I thank you very, very much. It was uh, absolutely fantastic listening to your uh, chant, and we, uh, we're inspired by that. And I saw the spark in Joe's eyes, and I know it means a lot to him to be here and to have the support. And I also want to say there's a lot of young, there's a lot of young budding fighters coming through Samoa at the moment. We're training at Plantation Gym at Inga's Gym yesterday, and a lot of the young boys there, the Bubba's training, some of them are only this big, but they were throwing combinations that were as good as I've ever seen a young guy throw. So I know there is depth there, there and providing they get the right coaching, Samoa will once again be a powerhouse in boxing. Yeah, we're gonna do the stare down. How about a big hand for Kevin Barry, ladies and gentlemen? Good to know that you think of Samoa as a jungle, but of course, paradise, a jungle in paradise, yeah? The young man he was talking about is of course, uh, Tolefua, Chris, and also uh, Kelly of uh, STA. Media, get your stands ready. Let's do the stare down. Yeah, 
If we could have uh, you, Jack, as well. Next to Jason, yeah. Hey, 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 <laughs> now this is the young man um, Kevin was talking about. Not too young, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for official way in, and that concludes the formalities. For today, leading up to the fight tomorrow, remember 7 p.m. tomorrow at Gym 1 for uh, Doors are going to be open. 8.30 is the first official live bout uh, between Huko Fanta and Beitelo Matangi. Buy your tickets from any Digicel shop, 50 Tala and 100 Tala general admission. And uh, it's going to be live on TV3 as well as Sky Sports New Zealand, Fox in Australia and others also in Europe. So thank you all very much for coming. Pantaya to the Manu Tato to Nula, we might have to the Alma Ville, Yermantopulanga, Yapa Perfoy, Tan Pasco, Lesuma, Yale Fava, Yamal Tan.